Afat Niku is out shopping. On the many rubbish dumps in Togo's capital, Lome, he finds just what he's looking for. At the age of 34, he's invented Africa's first 3D printer made entirely of electronic trash. We were inspired to make a printer nearer to our reality, using materials that were available all around us. Today, Afat is looking for gear wheels. He finds them in an old printer. Most of the components that end up here in the dump are pieces of old electronic equipment from Europe. Thousands of tons of electronic scrap end up in West Africa every year and pollute the environment. That's cheaper than disposing of electronic components properly in the countries they come from. To be honest, we only noticed later that with our project we were also participating in the fight against pollution and e-waste in our country by giving it a new chance. <laughs> For all the components Afat Niku takes with him today, he pays the equivalent of a few cents. Here, everything is priced by weight. The kilo price is always negotiable. For the Nigerian traders, it's worth it. In his workshop, he carries out the final adjustments. He's spent under 100 euros for all his printer components. Many people thought he was crazy at first and said nobody could make a high-tech 3D printer from scrap. And it was a long road for Afat, who got his degree in geography. It took six months in all. It was a lot of work. I had to keep trying things out to see what components fit and if something didn't work. I needed another replacement part or had to make something myself. It took a lot of fiddling around, but it works. Today, he's making a small drinking cup for his niece. On his laptop, Afat Niku designs the object he wants to print. After that, it's all automatic. The laptop transfers the data to the homemade printer. And it gets going. On top, the plastic comes from a spool, then it's melted and molded into the proper shape. The entire process takes almost an hour. Then the multi-purpose plastic cup is ready. Cool. Afat's friend, Jama Alahar, has arrived. He's studying computer science and helped construct the printer. It's true that I had the idea for the printer, but I must say it wouldn't have been possible without the community here. The community is a group of Togolese technology enthusiasts who support each other's projects. Anyone willing to share knowledge with the others can join. In addition to Afat's 3D printer, they've developed smartphone apps together and built cheap computers from electronic scrap. Once a year, businesswoman Henriette Beaujolais organizes a forum for young entrepreneurs. She's enthusiastic about a Fatniku's printer, but she's aware of the difficulties young Togolese face. Things are a bit difficult for young people who have good ideas and want to start up something. There are financial difficulties. The young people don't know how to begin and where to go for orientation. Despite that, Afat Nigu is optimistic that he can also earn money with his 3D printer. He'll soon be going to New York to present his invention at a trade fair. His friends are already working on a case to carry it in. Of course, they're making it themselves. <laughs>